The Switch eShop has had nothing but massive sales now for a couple of months and that trend continues this week as I bring you 12 games covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Today I've got everything from beat em ups to epic sci-fi adventures so in my opinion this it is a great one. Now my name's Alex so this is Switch Corner and if you do enjoy the video consider subscribing we are pushing for 60,000 subscribers right now and each and every one of you that does has a massive impact for the channel. I also then have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video and two more to give away to enter. Drop a comment down below and those winners they'll be announced in next week's video. We are starting with a Midnight Fight Express. It is here with 30% off and matching the low price and I am a big fan of this unique beat em up where here we are stepping into the shoes of Babyface, a reformed convict who is thrust back into the criminal realm by an AI drone. It is random, I know. Now your mission, stop a criminal takeover of the city before the crack of dawn. The combat here generally is fantastic with the ability to attack, dodge and counter and in my opinion it looks special as well and that is thanks to the use of motion capture. Along the way then level up and work on a skill tree and leverage a slew of weapons. Just great fun and often weird sense of humour is featured throughout and it even has a killer soundtrack and customizable difficulty options. You can find my review in the pinned comments. Signalis is up next and like I said strong week as I'm starting with two incredible games here but this it's 20% off and matching the low price and if you're a fan of sci-fi or horror then this should be at the top of your list it is an absolute gem. Now I'd describe it as a classic survival horror experience meaning yeah just basically scarce resources and here we find ourselves in a dystopian retro tech future and we will control a technician replica android known as Alster who is navigating a surreal world in search of lost dreams and a missing partner it's definitely intriguing stuff also I just love the backdrop of a future society where we are colonizing the solar system and androids they coexist with humans now along this journey do know we have a lot in our way from enemies to complex puzzles Puzzles. And it's also worth noting that yes, it is mostly isometric, but it occasionally switches over to first person. My only complaint here, the story, it can get a little too convoluted for its own good, but you'll see that in my review in the pinned comments. Dawn of the Monsters is a kaiju inspired brawler with characters that echo the likes of Godzilla and Power Rangers. Right now then it is 50% off which is a new or low price. They even added new modes through a free DLC such as New Game Plus and Challenges. And alongside this recently they actually dropped a paid DLC too which introduces a new playable character and an ultra challenging arcade mode which is going to be $7 or your regional equivalent. Now the overall experience here is a side scrolling brawler that supports up to two players locally and it has you out to save the world. It's got a complex story honestly for the genre and it packs some 35 missions so it's definitely longer than most. The only thing I would say though is as a byproduct of this it can get a little repetitive and I'd suggest maybe a few levels at a time. It's not a typical kind of all in one go arcade like style of brawler. Now the best part is then the ability to switch kaiju between missions and customize them enhancing abilities. Find my review though once again in the pinned comments. The Wild at Heart matches the low with 50% off and here you'll be guiding a group of creatures known as Spritelings. Your mission is to rebuild paths, overcome threats and crack puzzles. Now the story it follows two young runaways that are out to unravel the mysteries of a forgotten realm and it's a nostalgic storybook fantasy. Do not just think though it's all of fun and games here, you'll need to do things such as gather resources, construct buildings and then discover items and upgrades. This is all in preparation for battles against wildlife and supernatural enemies. Now when night falls as well do be careful things can get dangerous and you'll want to create a campfire to keep evil around you at bay. I'm a big fan of this one and it definitely has a similarities to Pikmin. A shout out then to Red Deer Games who were kind enough to sponsor today's video with their latest release that is Wild Agachi Virtual Pet. It just launched on the Switch and it arrives with a massive 84% discount. Now many of you may remember recently they had the Purr Purr Festival sale that was dedicated to cats and there was a game in there called Cat Agachi. Well this it's the same idea but now with a more varied cast of animals that need you to look after them. If you are old enough to remember Tamagotchis, I'm not sure if that is still a thing today, this is a game of looking after these animals managing hunger energy hygiene and fun so think 
feeding them, playing with them, cleaning them, even tackling a few mini games. I like the animal selection here as well, although they're going for something a little more exotic this time around. Highlights include a panda and an ape, definitely not your typical virtual pet experience. And I've linked to the eShop page in the pinned comment below, so go show Red Deer some love. They always bring us the best discounts, and once again, thanks to them for supporting the channel. Ghost Song is a Metroidvania inspired gem that throws you into an alien world, and this location a moon filled with secret chambers, winding tunnels, and laboratories all packing hidden secrets. Now we play as a newly awakened entity in a desolate suit, and you'll find yourself squaring off against a host of fungal enemies, alien metal husks, and more. Thankfully, you are armed with weapons, and you can expect to unlock new abilities on this journey. I really like that combat rapid fire with melee options as well. And then I also love the cast you meet, they each have their own unique stories, as five all courage, abandonment, and redemption. This one is something special, it's 30% off then, matching the low price. Our first winner of the week, it's going to Incognito, who simply highlighted that LEGO Brick Tales looks interesting, and it is, for me, it's a step in the right direction for what I personally want to see from a LEGO game, and that is a focus on free building. Congrats, so Incognito, drop me an email for the code, and everyone else, there is a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. Life is Strange True Colors is a gem if you enjoy narrative adventures and currently it's 50% off and matching the low price and the quality of this port is nothing short of impressive, just looks and runs great. They did release Life is Strange Arcadia collection following this but sadly they couldn't maintain that quality just as a quick warning. Now in the story we do step into the shoes of Alex Chan, a character with a supernatural ability to sense and manipulate the emotions of those around her. Now our brother has mysteriously died so we are returning home to uncover the truth behind what has happened. If story focused games are not your cup of tea do not come here, that's really where the game's strength lies. A quick note then I wanted to add here, God Wars, I mentioned that just a couple of days back in Thursday's under $10 video, which I will link down below, but it is being delisted at the end of this month, so it's now or never with this strategy RPG. Now I've not played it as a warning, but I did pick it up at this price, and the reason for me mentioning it again today is... I will have a dedicated video to it here in a day or so on the channel just to give you an idea of what it's all about, but I had a common question coming up on that video and that was, if I buy it, can I still play it after it's removed from the eShop? And yes, you can once it is delisted. If it is in your library, you can still play it and download it, so do not be concerned about that. Moonscars then, while I'm on games I've not played, this is actually my pickup of the week, meaning it is not a recommendation, rather maybe you'll want to take the risk and join me for the ride, but right now it is 30% off and matching the low price, and this is a game I was really excited about at launch, but sadly it ended up with a game breaking bug so you couldn't finish it, and from what I understand it also had multiple crash issues throughout. Now though my understanding is it's mostly been fixed, so here we can still expect some minor frame rate drops but you can reach that end game. Also thanks to SwitchUp who released an all patched up video that did break this down for me, I'll be linking that down below. For gameplay then it's a 2D side scrolling action platformer that takes heavy influence from the Souls genre, so I presume here it's a, you know, metroidvania, or at least taking influence from this genre. But I love the look of the gothic world that they went with, and this feels like a good pickup as I'm coming off the high of playing Blasphemous 2, and it feels like there could definitely be some similarities. Dredge then is a game I picked up recently and now that I've played it I can absolutely recommend it. I didn't really know what to expect going in and honestly it's tough to explain, it also surprised me so I'd say go and watch a full review but I'd summarise it as a single player adventure game where you play as a fisherman arriving in a mysterious town so now you're heading out to catch fish, complete quests and simply uncover secrets about this new location. Along the journey then you do upgrade your boat and equipment and I know it doesn't sound particularly exciting but what elevates it is kind of this evil that lurks in this world around you. There's this constant tension, it's really quite sinister as well, and that can come from the population or the ocean. It's 20% off, matching the low price, and it may be one of the most unique games I've personally played in some time. The Dying Light Definitive Edition and Call of Juarez a Gunslinger Bundle is here, back matching the low price with 82% off, and this deal first appeared a couple of months ago when it was just such a good price I actually thought it may have been a pricing mistake that would be corrected quickly. Well that didn't happen and now it is back and I said it then, I'll say it now, this is too good a deal for most to pass up on. Both are fantastic ports and Dying Light is an open world survival game that has you 
free running around zombies taking on this evil leader that oversees this world and then call of juarez is a fun wild west themed shooter i reviewed dying light so i'll be linking that down below but do know since then they've actually patched it a number of times improving performance visuals and yeah this overall incredible deal definitely take a look Killer Frequency was a recent release and it gets a new low price of 25% off. Now this game was originally crafted for VR before being converted and that's honestly my only complaint. You can feel all of that in the controls as occasionally it can be a little awkward to direct your movement and it definitely relies on a lot of you know button pressing styled gameplay. That said though I still had a blast it is so unique and the story here is that a mysterious killer is back. So I think almost 90s slasher style but the police are heading out of town now to find help and you'll be playing as a radio host that's fielding calls from those in danger in town around you basically you need to talk to them and guide them to safety just a really unique cast a great sense of humor and yeah i'll be linking my review below but this is really good stuff so our second winner then is Sambo Slice, who shouted out the videos, and to everyone, I really appreciate the ongoing support of the channel, it means a huge amount. Now congrats Sambo, drop me an email for that code, and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance in next week's video. No Man's Sky then gets 50% off, this is a new at low price for the digital release of the game, and I don't think it needs much in the way of introduction, an incredible sci-fi adventure that features an endless universe, and it asks you to find your way to the center of it. The highlight here though is that you can play your own way, and for many, story doesn't really matter, it's the exploration, the survival, the crafting, and the planets that take the focus. On launch, admittedly, I'm talking back in the day, pre-Switch, like PlayStation era, this game was a complete disappointment, but they continue to update it over the years, and they've turned it into one of the most impressive games out there. I have that same feeling as well towards the Switch build here. This game should not work on the hardware, but they managed it, and sure, that our frame rate wobbles, and the visuals definitely take a hit, but jumping into this universe handheld is just something special, and you know, there's always going to be this kind of good feeling around jumping in your ship, leaving a planet, and landing on another, and it is all seamless. That never gets old. You could spend thousands of hours in this universe. Many have. So if you do like sci-fi, this, it is a must-play game. And that is the video down. Will you be adding anything to the library? Let me know in the comments. With that, a shout out to the patrons and channel members who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals, news and lists daily, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.